Gaskin for the seventh. This is Eddie Pepperell, just one off the lead. Beautifully struck deep iron into the seventh for Pepperell. This for a birdie. He looks really good on his uh, mid to deep iron shots, and that was a solid stroke. Yeah, oh, yeah. lovely. Back to tied for the lead for Eddie Pepperell. Eddie. Very good iron player, as Mark James was saying. It's the strength of his game, but I need a good one here. We haven't seen anybody really get that close here on 11. We have now. Yeah, below the hole as well, so he leaves himself an uphill putt. Well done, Pepperell. Chance for him to climb to seven under and lead on his own. Pepperell, lovely tee shot at 11, and makes the birdie as well. So Pepperell jumps into the lead on his own. Two under par today, seven under for the championship, one ahead of Ansip and Lombard. Good look at Pepperell with the driver. Paul Fady won, perfect down 12. That will scamper down the fairway, give him a good look at the green. Look at Don't that. see him hit the driver that often, do we? No, I, just, I think he actually is playing a little bit better. That little bit of rest he's had has probably helped. You've got a back that's a little bit stiff and restricted. It is tough to get behind it and hit good drive. So, for Eddie Pepperell is dangerous. Second shot here on the 12th. And that's OK. He'll have a good birdie chance after that. You never know, he might even hold that for an eagle. Popular spot. So hard just to hit that draw, you really want to release it, but the last millisecond you just bail out. Pepperell trying to scuttle one up that quite steep bank. Oh, he's played that beautifully. Oh, my goodness me, that is glorious from Pepperell. <laughs> it's an eagle. eagle three for Eddie Pepperell, adding to the birdie at 11, and he jumps to nine under par and opens up a three-shot lead over the field. Everything is going his way out there today, isn't it? And he's pretty hard to shake once he gets in the lead because he's so sort of hangdog in a way. Pepperell, can he do what Johnny Rahm just did? We know the line, so does he, up the hill. It's tracking, you know. Oh. Why is that putt so easy? I, I have no answer, because it's not easy. Three and a half there for Pepperell. Missed the green at 15. So this is his fourth shot now at this par four. He'll be looking just to bump that up there. Nice low runner. Got a chance. A beautiful shot from Pepperell. It's a lovely control of flight. It looks a simple shot, but you've got to get the flight of the chip exactly right. I'm expecting a cut, but he's going to have to aim left. They all seem to like it. Yeah, good shot. Pepperell. Pepperell makes his par at the last, and he has gone round in 67 blows today. And he gets in at eight under par and may well take the lead into the weekend. Hunting a third European Tour victory. This is what it looks like as we move into the uh, Friday afternoon session. Day two of this year's Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. Pepperell by one. Eddie, well played. I know you had a little chat to Tim mid-round, but how pleased are you now getting in, posting that number and position where you are on that board? Good. As soon as I spoke to Tim, I made a bogey, I think, um, <laughs> soon after. So uh, I'll avoid Tim this weekend. But uh, I 
I was happens, very happy with that. You know, under a good score, I would say, in the conditions that I think we've played in. Um, you know, so yeah, today I've moved forward, which is always nice. How tough was it early doors with that weather? Typical Lynx conditions, but it was pretty brutal, wasn't it? Uh, it was horrible. Um, surprised me. I think it surprised all of us. I was I looked out the window when I woke up and it looked okay. And then yeah, first probably six, seven, eight, six, seven holes were really quite tough and drizzly, and it was hard to get a flight on the ball and. Um, it's tough, but uh, it's cleared up now, it's lovely now, so uh, yeah, uh, I mean we saw Le Hinch probably a bit more the way we should see it um, today, you know, I would, uh, it would be, I say nice, it would be kind of nice to have one day here at 20 mile an hour wind just to see the score and it would be, uh, be entertaining. How much do you want to keep that short game as sharp as it was over the weekend today? Well, I think I probably need to. It's not necessarily a case of one. I'm not hitting the ball perfectly, um, but short game has been feeling good. and. Uh, yeah, you know, I, yeah, I guess, you know, I, I, yeah, we'll just see how the weekend goes. I just have to concentrate with Lee around, isn't it? It's got to put me right out of my thought process there. Before I let you go then, obviously we know that you had the injury, you haven't been playing a lot of late. What's to be said though for coming back and feeling fresh, both physically and probably more importantly mentally? Physically I'd say I'm fresh. I'm not sure how fresh I've been mentally. I've had... Um, as we were just saying, a new puppy arrived and um, other things going on. So we had more stress in the last six weeks, believe it or not, than I've ever had. So um, maybe that's kept me somewhat, uh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, focused in a way. But um, no, my body certainly feels a lot better, which is nice. Uh, it's nice not to be out there worrying about my back, I guess. Um, so touch wood, it's, uh, it's okay. A new dog, Pip. Pip's the name, yeah? Pip. Like having a second child, is it? Uh, it's probably better. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going for the weekend. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. To watch European Tour video, click here. Subscribe, click here.